We need to talk to each other in the love of Christ. We need to invite Christ in our conversations. Do not speak vanity. Please, I beg you, if you are sitting in a place, in an assembly, read Psalm 1. Psalm 1, it says, don't sit in the assembly of the wicked. They sit and talk nonsense. Oh, I went and bought this, I went and got this, I went and did this, I went and... What is this? What is this? How are you? Are you okay? Remember Jesus Christ, what he says. My dear friend, have you been to church lately? My dear sister, have you read the Bible lately? My brother, dad, mom, friend, cousin, we need to be with the Lord. Now this is speaking to one another in Psalms. If you have a life of prayer, that is Psalms. Speak to one another in Psalms, have a life of prayer. Also, speak to one another with what? Hymns, the life of thanksgiving. Speak to one another in spiritual songs, the life of happiness. Speak to one another in a way of singing, the life of advancement and growth. And speak to one another in making melody in your hearts for the Lord. That is the life of sanctity. If you have a life of prayer, a life of thanksgiving, a life of happiness, a life of advancement and growth, and a life of sanctity, the Holy Spirit will reveal what the will of the Lord is in your life. We're too busy with this world, and then we say, how come God is not telling me what he wants from me? Of course he won't. You are busy with Satan. Why would God tell you? You are gone and placed yourself in the bosom of Satan. Why would the Lord be interested to reveal his will in your life? Where is the fairness? Do you see, my beloved friend, if you spend your time in the club, why would Jesus tell you what he expects of you? If you spend your time in drinking and gambling and drugs, why would the Lord reveal his will to you? If you spend your time in the dark alleys and the Star City casinos and in Las Vegas and King's Cross, why would the Lord Jesus reveal his will to you? Tell me why. It's not fair. If the Lord reveals his will, then he is not fair. And far from him, he is the fair one. But come to church, read his word, sing to him, love him, thank him always and see if the Lord is going to tell you or not. He will, for he is faithful to every promise he made. He delivers. He delivers. Please drop in your comments and questions. Please like and subscribe.